Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another unboxing episode. This time I have for you this quite large pack. To my knowledge it only contains two writing instruments. I paid, including the shipment, 350 lays for it. So 70.77 70 euros or 78.16 American dollars. So without further delay, let me take out this little knife that I have over here and let us proceed. So on uh, the front of the box it is uh, the address and I, f I will try to peel it uh, off. Let me see if I can. So without revealing the name, I will try to peel it off like this and let me see if I can. So this is the first one and I will try now to remove the other part. So this is one part and the other part over here. Okay, so the address is removed. And now I will try to see how I can open it. Okay. So first of all, let me try with this part over here. Well, unfortunately this blade doesn't... Okay. I've managed to cut it. Okay, like this. And now let me see. I need to insert the blade over here. Yes. I have managed to take that part away and now the other one let me see well this blade is quite quite bad <laughs> but i will try to use it okay like this so let me take out this part over here okay guys now uh, from this part I think I've I've done the cutting yes now from this part over here let me try yes I've managed and now from the middle hmm well I think I will ruin this little box I'm not so sure. Oh, okay, it opens through this part. Let me see. Yes, definitely. So I'm sorry it takes so long, guys, but... I hope that I will... Yes, it opens through this part over here. Okay, let me see. Okay, so this is one, I believe it's still hold on in this side, yes. I think that now I can open it and show you the content. So one and two, and this is it guys. The other is just filling paper, like you see, no. So such a large box for only two writing instruments so now depending on the pen i will show you let's start with this one okay let me give you a little zoom on it guys for you to see better well i think i can pull it off through here so guys this is definitely a parker fountain pen but i'm not so sure what model it is so it has this gorgeous gorgeous cap we have here parker and we have the roll gold and made in england possibly a parker 51 i'm not so sure guys so we have here a jewel and we have here the other jewel it opens like this so uh, b now i can tell you what model it is so judging by this arrow 
this should be a Parker 61 if I'm not mistaken guys and it should have a gold nib I'm not so sure about its nib we can open the barrel and interesting we don't have an aromatic filling mechanism but a, a simple cartridge and I'm quite curious to see if we can yes I think yes we can open it and let me zoom on it guys because this is quite important i'm curious to see if we have a gold nib or other type of nib oh god it's like this so how can i remove uh, the nib i'm not so sure it's quite dirty as you can see so i'm sorry guys i can't tell you if it has a steel nib or a gold nib but i definitely can tell you what i paid for it maybe i overpaid for it tell me what you think in the comments so i paid for this beautiful beautiful fountain pen approximately 200 lays so 40.44 euros or 44.67 american dollars and again guys tell me what you think did i overpay for this fountain pen i hope that i didn't overpay and i hope that it has a gold nib because at 200 lace it should have a gold nib we will see about that when i will do its full review and now let's move on to the next writing instrument and i believe that this is a i'm sorry not this but this and I believe that this is a fountain pen made in uh, USA, in uh, New York, and it's quite an old fountain pen. The brand is Morrison, and it doesn't have a gold nib, but I'm pretty sure that the original version had also a steel nib. So this nib should be original to this fountain pen and let me reveal it to you and after that i will tell you what i paid for it so it's quite well wrapped let me peel off this and let me see if i can take it out okay as you can see a quite nice and beautiful looking fountain pen well i'm trying to <laughs> pull it out but it appears that the cap is stuck there and yes I needed this in order to remove it let's take out this paper out of the picture and let me show you this little beauty guys so you can see engraved on the clip a beautiful clip Morrison and uh, it is probably made I'm not so sure of uh, hard rubber but in this case it is a quite quite nice hard rubber because it didn't develop that brown patina or it could be celluloid again the clip ends in this shape and we have the same lever filler because this guy is a lever filler which matches that other part uh, we have also an engraving on the barrel and let me see what we have here so the i'm not so sure what it's written there the two w r i'm not so sure but uh down we have morrison fountain pen company new york new york usa and upstairs it's written the well i'm not so sure what is written there i'm sorry guys next time i will know you can see the barrel ends in this conic shape and the same conic shape we have also on the cap of this fountain pen the cap it twists like this and it reveals the nib and i told you guys we don't have a gold nib but we have a wonderful wonderful gold plated let me see what we have so morrison number seven fine registered us patent off 
quite quite nice ending we have some teeth mark i believe here i'm not so sure or maybe they tried to replace uh, at some point the sack and they use quite crude crude instruments to uh, take it apart from here guys well i paid for this beauty this beautiful beautiful american fountain pen i believe from the 1920s i paid for it only 150 lays or 30.33 euros or 33.50 american dollars for this wonderful wonderful morrison so stay tuned guys because both of the fountain pen will have their reviews on my channel i want to thank you for your time i hope you've enjoyed this unboxing if you did enjoy this unboxing please subscribe to my channel to support my activity in return i will show you new unboxings of both vintage and new fountain pens and of course reviews of the writing instruments in my collection again thank you for your time please stay safe in this pandemic time i will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye and god bless